My name is Peter Hyde, and welcome to the JCB Piling Master. The JCB Piling Master is based on the flagship JCB 4CX. The 6 in 1 shovel and loader quick hitch, in combination with the 5 8 loader arm pipework and the handheld tool circuit, offer the opportunity for the JCB Piling Master to capture additional works, as well as using handheld tools to capture external works. This increases its versatility. Standard with the 81 kilowatt JCB Ecomax engine coupled to JCB's six speed auto shift transmission with torque lock, the Piling Master is capable of 40 kilometers an hour. All this makes the Piling Master extremely mobile. Four wheel steer axles give the JCB Piling Master unparalleled maneuverability, making it ideal for those tight and restricted access sites. The business end of this machine starts with three sizes of augers, 350, 450, and 600 millimeters in diameter. The Kelly bar, made up of seven telescopic sections, is capable of a depth of 14 meters. The rotary head has three motors, delivering 12,500 newton meters of torque. The winch and rope are capable of retracting up to five tons. The mast guides the Kelly bar, visually indicates depth, and on initial push with a closed Kelly bar can deliver 3,300 kilograms of force. Today, we're on uncompacted sandy gravels. With the recent weather, lots of snow, lots of rain, it's heavily saturated as well. As you can see, it's very rutted. Underneath the machine, you'll also notice there's no piling mat. That's down to these extra large stabilizer feet. The ability to level the piling master on the most uneven of surfaces is down to the extra large stabilizer feet. They reduce ground bearing pressure and increase the machine's stability. If at any point the banksman feels as though the operation of the machine is incorrect or unsafe, he can stop the machine dead through the use of these emergency stops. So as we get piling, let's take a look at the controls and the in-cab display. The most obvious addition to the Piling Master cab is the in-cab display and the piling rig focus switchgear. As any piling expert will tell you, the first two to three meters of a bore is critical to the verticality of the overall bore. This verticality can be achieved all from the comfort of the cab. With horizontal level sensors in the chassis and vertical level sensors in the rotary head of the piling rig, with both of them feeding to the display, the operator can be absolutely sure of the Kelly bar's verticality. Also shown on the display is back pressure in the mast and rotary circuits, so the operator can see exactly how stiff the material is and how hard the machine is having to work. Maintaining the verticality whilst drilling is done using this three position switch. In position one, piling mode, both the boom and dipper rams are hydraulically locked. This function ensures the verticality of the Kelly bar is maintained whilst drilling. Position two, reposition mode. This removes the functions of the winch and the rotary head whilst giving full control over the rest of the services. Position three, maintenance mode. This activates all functions and an audible alarm will sound when this function is activated. The rotary head is capable of three speeds. The first two are controlled from this switch and the third, which should only be used for dislodging material from the auger, is operated by a foot switch to the operator's left. This switch accelerates the auger to 90 revolutions per minute. As the winch is gravity fed, for safety, it is a two-stage control sequence. This is so it cannot be inadvertently operated. In order to lower the winch, the foot switch to the right of the operator must be held and engaged, then holding the right-hand joystick firmly to the right. So that's the JCB Piling Master. It's mobile, it's maneuverable, it's versatile, and it's safe. And without the need of a costly piling mat or additional transport, it represents a significant opportunity for cost savings. Thanks for joining me.